Hi, and welcome to RM Cybernetics. Today I'd like to show you how to make sparks with the OCXI version 2. So here you can see me setting up the high voltage spark coil with the OCXI version 2. Here I am connecting a power supply unit, which is a 12 volt 30 amp supply, um, to the OCXI. We do sell the power supply unit on our website. The V plus on the OCXI connects to the positive terminal of your power supply. Ground on the OCXI connects to the negative terminal of your power supply. That is V minus. So here you can see me attaching them. Do ensure when you are attaching these that you just make sure that they are tight and they don't go anywhere. Next I'm going to put the high voltage spark coil onto the load plus and load minus of the OCXI. It doesn't matter which way around those go, but just ensure that they're both in there and they're both in there tight and that there's no gaps. So this is our ignition coil available from rmcybernetics.com. It's a typical ignition coil and it steps up voltage that is supplied as DC pulses from the OCXI version 2. The output voltage is proportional to the rate of change of current. The OCXI version 2 is designed to give very fast pulses which give optimum performance in ignition coils. Here you can see me setting up the high voltage spark coil with the OCXI. First of all I'm going to put a bolt into the end of the high voltage spark coil just so we have a contact point. And then I'm going to get a contact from the ground terminal of the OCXI. And I'm just going to attach that near the spark coil so that we can make con contact. So here's our first demonstration. The spark coil is most efficient at approximately 100 hertz. Uh, that's a low buzzing sound. Okay, so I'm turning up the duty cycle in this instance. Increasing the duty cycle only increases the output power to a certain amount. It's about 70%. After this point, the magnetic core of the spark coil is saturated and increasing duty will only waste power and heat up the coil. As you can see at the end there, I'm just turning the knob and it's not doing anything. In this example, I'm going to be adjusting the frequency on the OCXI. Here I'm turning up the uh, duty cycle to about 50% and I'm going to adjust the frequency. The spark coil will work differently at different frequencies due to the coil's reactance and resonance. When pulsing a coil, the higher we turn up the frequency, the more difficult it is for current to flow. This means at very high frequencies, the output voltage will lower. To compensate for this, it will be necessary for you to use a higher voltage supply. Look out for our next video on demonstrating the OCXI version 2 with a Jacob's Ladder.